everybody is joining. Welcome to a new rain vlog. I only read one book last week. I didn't read the past two days and I'm sorry for not doing a proper outro for my last rain vlog. But my plan for this week is to read The Wicked King by Holly Black, which is the second book in the Folk of Air series. I know I said I was going to start it in my last vlog, but I didn't, but I'm excited to start it. I'm gonna start it this week. Also, I forgot to tell you guys about my audiobook for Once Upon a Broken Heart. I'm still working on it. I'm more than halfway through it now. I hope to catch up this week. And also this week, I'm hoping to read A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett St. Clair. I don't own a physical copy. I own the e um, an ebook of it, so I'm gonna be reading that on my nook. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a quick read because I tend to read ebooks faster than a physical read sometimes, just based on like some scientifics and plus my experience from reading books on ebook. So that's pretty much it for my update. I know this week I'm hoping to catch up on filming and also Kevin and I are going to be celebrating Valentine's Day a little early just because we both work on Valentine's Day and we want to make sure that we have a little Valentine's Day um, time with each other. We're going to see Death on the Nile this weekend which we're excited about. I know it's not an ideal movie day but uh, but Kevin and I have been wanting to watch it since we watched Miranda Orient Express. Maybe we'll watch that to prepare Death on the Nile even though the book series are just bad, um, different cases with Hercule Poirot, the detective. But yeah, either way, that's pretty much it for this um, intro. But yeah, I'm going to get started on The Wicked King. Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. I've read a little bit of The Wicked King last night. I got to page 38, so yeah, I didn't um, write that bar. I'm honestly starting to remember why I was so confused about the world and I also forgot about what happened in the first book for a little bit but good thing the first few chapters gave me a little refreshment. So yeah I do hope to read a lot of this day even though I want to try to catch up on my audiobook for Once Upon a Broken Heart because I'm still working on that audiobook because I really want to move on to the next audiobook so I'll be playing Epic McGee today because I like listen to my audiobook, uh, my audiobook while I'm doing other things. I have some filming to do. So yeah, that's my, pretty much my plan for today is to film, do some reading, and also do some other stuff that I need to do other than laundry because I always do laundry on my days off. But yeah, I'm still trying to get everything straightened up because like I mentioned a couple of videos. I mean, the next few months I will be very busy because of my wing coming up in July. Yeah, it's getting starting to get closer and I probably will be taking a break from rain vlogs until after, but I will let you know when that will happen. But yeah, that's pretty much it my for my plan for this, uh, for today at least, is to get, like I said, filming, reading, and other things I need to get done today. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. I read a little bit more of The Wicked King yesterday. I didn't read much yesterday. I only got to page 82, so almost 100 page mark. I'm I'm liking it, but I'm just also, I'm just been more confused about what's going on. But at the same time, I'm still liking it a little bit. It, least but yesterday I'm just proud of myself because I finally finished Epic Mickey. I wish I would show you guys how I feel accomplished but I yesterday I did finish it and I'm almost done with Once Upon a Broken Heart. I got to page 343 so almost towards the end of the book so I do hope to finish Once Upon a Broken Heart this week so I can start on my new audiobook because I've just been craving for a uh, listen to another audiobook. Nothing wrong with the audiobook for Once Upon a Broken Heart. I just want to listen to another audiobook after that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my update. I do hope to read more of 
the wig I came tonight before going to sleep, but yeah, other than that, I'll catch you guys later. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Sorry for not vlogging yesterday. It was just a very exhausting day yesterday at, at work, I mean, and I'm just didn't feel like vlogging, and plus, I didn't read the last two days. I just don't know why I didn't want, I know that this year I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on myself because I'm how busy I'll be next couple of months. But my goal for today is to get a lot of reading done for The Wicked King and finish my audiobook for um, Once Upon a Broken Heart because I have like an hour and a half left of this. And my next audiobook I'm planning on picking up is You Have a Match by Emma Ward and I still haven't read this. It was my most anticipated release of last year and it's about a girl who took a DNA test and discovered that she has a sister and that's all I know about it and I'm just really excited to pick this up because I did listen to Tweet Cute on audiobook so that's why I want to pick that book up on audiobook since I enjoyed Tweet Cute on audiobook so much so yeah my plan for today is to get a lot of ring done and in a little bit I'm gonna be baking some cookies just because I miss baking and I barely bake uh, lately so I'm just gonna gonna bake some cookies today just because I feel like it their Valentine's Day thing. Cookies is and I'll show you guys in a, a little bit. So I'm gonna um just I'm gonna go get dressed and get a little bit of rain done and then I'll bake some cookies in a little bit. Hey everybody it's much later. I'm in the kitchen. I'm about to start my my audiobook for Once Upon a Broken Heart. I kind of listened to it a little bit Today I have about an hour left. So I'm gonna be making these cookies right here, the Pillsbury um, hearts. So like I said, they're Valentine's Day themed. And I wanna bake these before they're expire because when uh when I got the 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 cookie mix, I didn't get to use it. So I'm trying to make up for it by making these cookies. I love these cookies, I don't eat them often, which is Sad, but yeah, I'm gonna go bake these and listen to my audiobook some more. cookies are done. I'm just gonna put them on a plate and see if Kevin wants to have some after work for dessert. But I'm really excited that I baked these. This is really hard to get them off the cookie sheet on the, with one hand in, so I'll be right back. So here they all are, all baked and everything. I'm just putting it on a plate for now and see like I said, to see if Kevin wants to have some for dessert after dinner. But they turn out good, most of it. But I will give it a try a little bit. And I've still listened to my audiobook for Once Upon a Prime Broken Heart. Like, I have less than an hour left. Like, I have like 59 minutes left of it. I do hope to finish the audiobook today so we didn't start on a new audiobook. Like I said, I already picked up a book of mine, which is a, you have a match by Emma Lord. Cause I know she had a new book that just came out this year and I just want to catch up cause I've been liking Tweet Cute, which is her other book that she wrote back in 2020. I, yeah, 2020. And I, and it was one of my favorite books of the year for 2020 or one of my favorites of 2020. So, yeah, other than that, I I do tend on filming a little bit later, but I just want to have a relaxing day to start off with just because I don't want to feel stressed about filming today. And yeah, I probably will do some more reading a, a little bit before I 
film. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. is much later. I've read a little bit more of the Wicked Cane and I'm on page 127 and I really don't know why. I definitely, I think I want to DNF this just because I'm not getting to a story like I did with the first book and the world's still confusing to me and I'm just don't know what the heck's going on. So I'm DNFing this series and I'm sorry for people who like this series but I'm just not getting into the second book like I did with the first book. So, I'm gonna read A Touch of Darkness by Nia Charge My Nook a little for a little bit just because I don't go on my nook as much as only when I travel. So, I have it on ebooks. So, I'm gonna charge my nook for a little bit before I start reading that. And that's pretty much it. I didn't listen to more on my audiobooks, so I probably will be doing that while I'm getting ready to film because I was planning on waiting until my next day off, but on my next day off I have an eye appointment, so I'm just gonna just film that video to make up for not filming for that day anyway, so yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I just gone off work. I did finish my Aya book for Once Upon a Broken Heart. I liked it. I just, I don't know why I didn't feel connected to the characters like I did with Carval because it's supposed to be set in, in a Carval world, but I did enjoy it. Still, there were some characters that I like and there's some that I just didn't connect with, but I still want to continue on with this series. And yeah, I'm going to be starting my Aya book for you have a match, which is, I do have a copy, it's just in my room, I'm just too lazy to grab it. But I did read more of um, A Touch of Darkness, but let me see where I'm at, because I know I'm only a few chapters in, but I'm liking it so far. Now let's see. Yeah, I'm only 13%, and like I, and I'm on page 40 according to the my nook, yes, I know I still have the protector on when I first got it, but still. So, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna continue reading that, but I don't know how much rain I'll get done today because Kim and I are gonna be going out for Valentine's Day since we work tomorrow, which is Valentine's Day. So, we're gonna be seeing Death in the Nile, which I'm really excited about and I'm pretty sure the movie will give me a refresher on what happened in the book just because I haven't read that book since 2020 when that was supposed to come out and then it got delayed till this year so I'm very excited to watch it either way and and Kevin and I don't usually go out much because we're right now we're trying to save money for our wedding but it's kind of nice that we're going on a going out for Valentine's Day, our last Valentine's Day before we're husband and wife, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, it is so, so weird. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Oh, before I forget, I want to show you guys what Kevin got for me for Valentine's Day. I'm just shocked because Kevin said that he would um, not buy any more books because I suck at kept me keeping up with books that I own and I know that but I'm trying to keep up with catch up on the ones that I own this year but he got me this Marvel Masterworks um, comic book this is a collection of all the Spider-Man comic books as you see in the back that's all the Spider-Man comic books that's featured and I'm just so surprised that he got it for me for Valentine's Day and he knows that that I'm a bit 
that Spider-Man is my favorite Marvel character, and I just can't believe I'm going to be reading more Spider-Man. So, yeah, I'm just really excited about reading this when I can. Maybe I'll try reading it next month. I don't know yet. But, yeah, either way, I'm just so excited that I have a Spider-Man um, a collection of Spider-Man comics. So, yeah, I want to thank Kevin for getting me that for Valentine's Day. And I'll show you guys what I got him for Valentine's Day. I'll show you the picture right here. I got him a one-piece Christmas sweater because the one I was going to get him was sold out. And and I know how much he wanted a, a one-piece themed Christmas sweater. That's one of his favorite anime shows. So, yeah, I got him that for Valentine's Day. So... Yeah, I'm gonna change out my work clothes. Yeah, I got just got home from work. I'm gonna change out my work clothes and Kevin and I will be going out for Valentine's Day.